Right back on again folks. Kodak's having its day. Like I said, it's not the same sharpness as the Sony. Um, the blue sky is helping quite a lot and I'm able to look a little bit better at the viewfinder. Now what I have said to myself last week, Sheila, why don't you put your glasses on when you're using the Kodak? Well, I'm not doing it at the moment, but that is something I thought that I might be able to see the screen better. Because basically I have to use glasses when I'm doing computer or watching TV. You don't necessarily have to have them with TV, but I definitely do with the computer. So it could be that I might be able to make use of the viewfinder much more if I put the glasses on when I'm out using it. I'm making most of this lovely blue sky at the moment, everyone. Yeah. I'm making the most of it. Because when we get down the bottom here, we'll be going I'll be on a familiar track. Not going to the hill for it today because I've got a track near a cheddar I want to explore. Um, I'm trying to find as many different routes as I can, starting and leaving Cheddar or, or Sanford, um, to enhance and enrich the experience over here. I mean, I just every time I look at that scene, I just, I'm overwhelmed. To be quite honest, I just love April and May. I just love it, and I just love finding this place, knowing there's another track at the top I've yet to explore. It really, real, um, I don't know, it overcomes me with joy, actually. Because <laughs> I love all this. Look at it, it's gorgeous with the bluebells. Even in a week, because if you look at the photos from last week, they were nothing like this. Look at that scene there. Absolute heaven, isn't it? Absolute heaven. Look, let's zoom right in and see how we get on. Right in, Sheila. Yeah. I don't forget, I'm still learning how to handle this com camera. It's so much more big, bigger than the compact. So much more difficult to handle. Now I can see people coming people on horses. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute Right, folks. back on again. I've just spoke to the people, just some horse riders going along up there, look. And the girl that's taken the lead said that this is her happy place in here. She's taken her on a horse. I could go on one of those trips, you know. They take you around on a horse. I haven't been on a horse for a long time. I was just explaining to her when, when I was younger, they used to call me electric bushes. <laughs> it's like, because it's as if I was giving the horse a shock when I got on it. I can believe that, you know, because people have got shocks off me, especially when I was a nurse and we were making beds and things like that. I, sparks used to fly. People say, I ain't making bed with Sheila, I get a shock. The horse has obviously picked up on it. That was nice. She calls this this valley a happy place. Isn't that a lovely way of putting it? I, I won't forget that. God, isn't it gorgeous? You know, I just can't get over how gorgeous this place is. It's um. Now, I'm glad I've got some footage before the grey comes, because they said from about one o'clock. Of course, it's gone that now. The. Uh, The grey weather will, will come. I forgot to remember what the time was when I looked at it. Yeah, because the, the images will change. Um, it's so lush up there. The images will change when the blue goes. It makes such a difference, you know, having the um, calm, no wind, and having blue, a nice blue sky. And that was nice. I didn't video them. 
I spoke to them and I just took a couple of shots just to remind me of having a chat with them as they were past me. And they all look really happy on the horses. The horses look good. I've probably spoken to some of those horses before now. They're probably from Tynings Farm. So in a minute we'll get down here. It's a bit breezier down here I've noticed. It's a little bit breezier here. I wonder what that is tied to that tree. I know, something tied to it. I'm not going to investigate, I don't know what it might be. It's just the sun has just gone in then. And it already, the, as, as we leave the higher area, it is getting less bluebells. I've noticed it's colder as we go down. There's big change. The trees are still holding a bit before they come out. But the change from just back there, where the sun comes, catches that part of the comb, till we go deeper down on the north side, because this will be the north side. And hardly any bluebells. Look. See? There's a few trying to come out over there. That's a pretty little poppy. That's a yellow poppy. Let's see that. Let's see many of those. Well, I'm going to take a picture of you over and out.